You know, I had this whole thing planned where I was going to take the Chaos Coaching hat that we used to wear, put it to the side, take the new hat that we have for Chaos Coaching now, and put it on. But then the next gen Madden 21 came out. And I thought maybe the intro should be about maybe making a funny joke about the next gen Madden 21 in the intro. But I didn't think of any jokes for the next gen of Madden 21. So insert funny joke here. Do the video. What's good, everybody? And we're back. Yesterday's gonna be a chaos coaching. It's gonna be on the next gen Madden 21. Now it's gonna be a little bit different than our usual chaos coachings because this is our first day on the game. So I'm gonna be learning it too. We're gonna be learning it together here. I'm not gonna be 100% sure what's gonna be the best on offense and what's gonna be on defense. What routes are gonna be the best? What defenses are gonna be the best? Man coverage, zone coverage, whatever the case may be. We're gonna be learning it together. So I'm gonna be kind of giving feedback on what I thought worked on a certain play, what I thought didn't work on a certain play. And we'll kind of just go through the gameplay that way and we'll kind of learn together. I, th I think it could be a fun way to do it. I I think it's gonna be exciting now i don't want to take too much time here because i feel like you all are just excited to see the gameplay so i do have one quick announcement which is actually a way that you can win a new gen console so we'll make the quick announcement then we'll go over to the lineup because we have made some changes to it then we'll get into the gameplay have you been looking for a way to compete in madden but haven't been able to because you're under the age of 16 and can't compete in the madden championship series well here's your chance i'm here to announce the youth club championship in madden 21 where you can register for your chosen team for free for a chance to compete for the youth club championship super bowl in february of 2021 again the tournament is going to be free to register and it's going to be open from ages 8 to 15 and the way that you're going to register is you're going to go to nflflag.com slash madden once you're on the site you will be given the choice of which team you would like to represent in the youth club championship and they even have a change team option just in case you'd like to switch now once you have chosen your team you're all set to register but do note if you're under the age of 13 you're going to need parental consent in order to register now first you'll choose which console you would like to compete on either ps4 or xbox one then you'll either have to create an account or if you already have one log in and once you're in your account you're going to want to hit join and once you do that you'll be on the page where you can finish your registration and finish signing up for the tournament for the team that you've chosen don't forget to note the prizes for both your individual team's club and for the entire youth club championship super bowl i hope you'll give it a chance let's get back to the show so quickly here we will go through our lineup as we did make a few changes to it Josh Allen still our starting QB. Reggie Bush is our starting running back. Raheem Mostert is our backup running back who we can also put out at wide receiver in order to change our personnel and change up what we can audible to. We did pick up Tyreek Hill, who's our new wide receiver number one. We replaced Terry McLaurin. I believe Tyreek Hill is probably the best wide receiver in the game right now as far as speed goes, as long as you don't need like a slot apprentice, an outside apprentice, a route technician, all those things together. As long as you don't need those uh, abilities, I believe Tyreek Hill is the best wide receiver in the game right now. We do have Marquise Brown as our wide receiver number three. Isn't going to start for us this game, but they did get those upgrades from the Thanksgiving Day games that they played yesterday on Wednesday against the Steelers. So Marquise Brown's another great wide receiver out there that you can put with a lot of speed. Chad Johnson's our wide receiver number two that we're going to start with route technician. Vernon Davis is our new starting tight end who replaced Darren Waller. And now we have Chris Cooley, who we can also put out at wide receiver instead of a running back to also change up our personnel. O-line has not changed at all since the last video. We still have 25 out of 50 for both Niners and the Washington football team. Now defensively, Ronnie Lott's still our starting free safety. Now keep in mind that a lot of the linebackers and the ends aren't going to uh aren't going to actually be starting we'll talk about that when we get over to the specialists but taylor mays is our starting strong safety we actually play at linebacker a lot we play a lot and mays at linebacker a lot kendall fuller backup strong safety cornerback we picked up shaquille griffin we also picked up tracy porter and then we have drc and Deion sanders still so those are our, those are our, um dbs we play shaquille griffin a lot at safety so that's a lot that's another difference that we have shaquille griffin kind of replaced antonio cromartie as our cornerback that we like to play uh, up at safety. And then getting over to the special teams, we did pick up Sebastian uh, Janikowski, who I think is the best kicker in the game now. And then for the slot CB, we still have Sneed, who's also gonna play at safety a lot. Now we have them in slot cornerback in the specialist because we have those theme teams. So we have to have a lot of players that fit those theme teams in order to get to the 25 out of 50. But if we wanted to start someone that did not fit in those teams, we tried to put them in the specialist. So Sneed's one of them. Lawrence Taylor is another one. Uh, Javon Curse is a third one. So we have some players here that didn't fit those 25 out of 50 teams. 
we had to start other players but these specialists are actually going to be the uh the normal main starters for us now as we get over to team strategy here we're still in the raiders offense we're still in the giants defense but this is our first day on the game so we're going to see what we like if the stuff that we were running before is still working if we still feel like that's what we want to run or if we're going to want to change it up at all that is it for the team Let's jump into the game. This is exciting. This is our first game on the next gen Madden 21 console. It's a very quick loading screen. Very quick loading screen. As you saw, I went right through it. Very exciting, very fun. We'll see how this game goes. It should be a good one. Ooh, look at the new play call screen. The play call screen is completely different than it was before. That's completely changed. Look at these graphics. I think I can tell a difference. I think I can tell a difference. Uh, you all can let me know if you all see the difference. I'm not sure if it's even, even gonna go through on video form with the differences as far as like, just because of uh, uploading as uh, compared to playing it. But it definitely, it feels and looks different to me even just from the very first play with that very first kickoff. I'm confused here, I'm confused. I wasn't able to get the play call that I wanted. Oh, 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 I wasn't able to get the play call that I wanted there. I'm still a little bit confused by the new play call screen. I'm trying to actually just go and flip my play here. We're in 3-3-5, uh, I'm trying to flip my play. It, it's not allowing me to do it. And my coach adjustments, auto flip. Oh, I had auto flip on, that's why. Oh, wow, I had auto flip on. Okay, we're gonna see what man coverage is looking like, right? So the man coverage was what I like to use a lot of in the last, uh, in, the, in the game before. So let's see if it still is working for us here. And we're gonna shade up. But man coverage, that's, that was definitely what I ran a lot of before. And I mean, that was, I, I believe that was my assignment. So that wasn't a great test for the man coverage but this is exciting it's it's like it's it's pretty much like a new madden just came out here it's, it feels like a very different game so it's, it's gonna be like we're learning a whole new thing here and uh i'm gonna try out i'm gonna try out cover three not gonna go to man coverage here we'll, we'll actually you know what they're coming out of, uh in a shotgun set here so we're gonna continue to try this uh cover two man just to see just to see if it's, if it's working here we're on the running back here so i need to make sure i'm watching the running back because that's my assignment oh it's a run it's a run Oh, they have Tebow. They have Tebow. I haven't played against Tebow yet. Actually, I actually haven't used Tebow yet either. That's something we might want to have to try at some point just to see. Just because that's exciting. It's Tim Tebow. It, I, I'm sorry if I if I sound really excited right now, but it's just you know it's a new it's it's a new thing here. So I'm kind of excited about it. So you know what this is this is on the tight end here. I'm on the running back again. I'm on the running back again. Oh 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 oh. You know I'm having a little bit of trouble user in here. It looks like now before. In the game pass when you blitzed your user pre-snap it made you run faster i'm doing that here i'm blitzing my user but i still feel like i'm uh using a little bit slower than i did in the last game so i'm actually going to test something i like to i'll like to test here is not using the right trigger for sprint so that'd be like r2 on uh playstation i'm going to try not using that when we go to the when we try to use her here just to see if that makes any difference just to see if that makes any difference i'm not going to hold sprint here and let's just see what they do also i mean I do want to test zone at some points. I feel like I'm moving a little bit better. I actually feel like I'm moving a little bit better than I was with Sprinter. That's actually something that could be noteworthy. Not holding Sprinter while you're using. That could definitely be something. I'm going to continue to do that as we go. That was man coverage there. It looked decent. I didn't, I didn't get a ton of look at it. I was mostly looking at my user. But it looked like it was decent. They had to throw the ball away. Now I'm going to go to zone. We'll go to like a cover three sky here and see if that works. I, I should have waited for them to call a play. But okay. We're in cover three sky. I'm still blitzing my user. But I'm not going to hold Sprint. I'm not going to hold Sprint. I feel like we're moving pretty well. I feel like we're moving pretty well. Nice shit. Nice shit. We have a fourth down here. This is the this is the biggest play of the game so far. We have a fourth down, and uh, I'm liking I'm liking what I'm seeing from the from the uh, from the user without the sprinter. So I'm gonna continue to do that, and, uh, and this time I'm actually gonna try something different though without blitzing my user. So I was blitzing my user before. Let's see if we just play a zone and don't hold sprinter. See what that goes. Oh, well, that swing route. Okay, just play action. Just play action. I feel like I'm moving the same. Oh, knocked it out. Good knockout. Let's go. I feel like we were kind of using the same whether we were in zone or blitzing our user. So that's something that's definitely, definitely noteworthy going into the new, uh, the next gen game. I was having a little bit of trouble setting my audibles there. We're just going to call inside zone first play. And that actually felt pretty similar to the, to the game before. So that, that wasn't too different for me. I'm going to try to just continue to try to do different things. Just see as much as we can in this first game here. But I had a little bit of trouble setting my audibles there. So that's why we took a little bit longer. I actually didn't make my subs. I didn't make my subs. I want to put... Mostert in that middle uh, slot receiver. We have our table. We have our, the table route felt good. The table route felt good. The table route looked fast. That's something that's definitely nowhere. That table that table route looks faster than it did before. And I'm not sure what button is subs here. I'm not. I'm really not sure. RB was subs before, but RB now moves the player to the side. So I'm not sure. I really don't know. I really don't know how to make subs. We're gonna try to figure this out as the game goes on. LT is still audibles. RT still flip. I'm probably gonna take a timeout here. 
I'm not sure how to sub, so I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a bit here and try to figure out how to do a sub, and uh, we'll come back. But we're still working on figuring out that answer. I will figure out the answer before the end of this video. Ooh, nice, nice little user rush right there. I will figure out the answer before the end of this video. You saw we took our timeouts. We actually took a couple delays as well. We're going to have to figure that one out because I am not sure. I am not sure what the, the way to sub anymore is, honestly, because RB and LB kind of changed the formation for you. So that's something we'll figure out. I'll make sure to have that answer for you. I'll actually put uh a timestamp well i'll have a note that drops a timestamp for you for when we find that answer so if you want to skip forward to it you can and we're looking for our table here not gonna have it not gonna have it we have our post though we have our post though let's go Vern. let's go Vern. let's go Vern. i'll say i will say the post routes from the tight end do seem a little bit slower than they were on the game before so that's something that's definitely noteworthy now there is a personnel tab here so i'm not sure if we can do subs from that in any way but this might be the spot where you do the subs i'm still not sure where to go to do it but that is something that might be where it's done so again we'll come back to it at some point in the video but there is that tab there i'm gonna try this counter we've already tried an inside zone one. let's try this counter here and there it goes Ooh, that looked good that looked good reg Ooh. Nice little hit stick. I felt like I was actually uh, kind of swerving a little bit while holding RT. Not not holding sprint might be the move both on usering on defense and with running the ball on offense. That's what it's felt like so far. We're going to try this inside zone again, but we're not going to hold sprinter at all. See where we can cut. Reggie and Reggie's in. Let's go. Yes, we found it. Okay, it says Y for substitution. That is where we do the subs. So we were able to figure that out. Now we're going to we're gonna do the subs that we need to do. We'll do the subs that we need to do. Then we'll take our extra point. I'm actually really glad that we were able to figure that out. Now we'll be able to do the subs on defense as well. Just a little different, you know, new game, learning new things. I like that they made some changes. I do like that they made some changes. I think that's cool. It gives a little new game feel to it. I was doing my subs and I did not get all the subs in that we're doing. So we're in a different defense here. That was man coverage. Knocked that out. Nice. Nice. Good job, Griffin. That was man coverage. Looked pretty looked pretty good again there. And that was not shade up, I don't think. So that was not shade up. So keep that in mind. Without shade up, they were able to play pretty good man coverage right there. We're going back to zone here. And I my cam I might have changed my camera angle. I think I changed the camera angle there. Is that, is that what we've been playing on the whole time? I'm not sure. I think I might have changed the camera angle. I mean, there we go. Yeah, I think I changed it. I think I changed it somehow. I must have pressed something there. We're on that with Maze. We're on that with Maze. Nice, let's go. We're playing hard flats here. We're watching for the running back. Oh, it's actually a run. And LT, and LT made the play. Let's go, LT. Okay, and that's actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. We're on to game two. So here we go with game two. We're going to be starting on defense. We figured out a little bit of the new intricacies to the game as far as subs go. The new, the new play call screen. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Great tackle, great tackle. We figured out some of the intricacies here. This should be a fun one. Let's see if we can get a stop. We're starting off this game, trying out cover two. We'll see what cover two's looking like. Oh, and Taylor Mays gets, makes a great play out of the cover two. First play of the game, Taylor Mays, cover two. Okay, all right. We've tried we try some different things defensively. Now we'll try some different things offensively. It doesn't seem like you can play with the same route combos that we did before. So I'm gonna try to see what routes I'm really liking in this game. This could be man coverage here. We're looking for Tyree Kill going deep. It is man coverage. Can I throw that to Tyreek? Tyreek! Tyreek Hill! First, first offensive play, Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill looked very, very fast right there. Very fast. That, that was cover three. Look, that was cover three. Well, it was cover three with it looks like one player was in man coverage, but still, that looked really fast from Tyreek Hill. We're back in this cover three now. It looks like a run. It looks like a run. Oh, it's a keeper with Lamar. It's a keeper with Lamar. That actually fooled me right there. That actually fooled me. I actually have one last sub that I want to make right here. One last sub. And then we'll, we'll, we'll be pretty much set. We'll be pretty much set. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Just, I mean, it's just a different, it's just a different subbing system here. So it's just gonna be something to get used to. But once we get used to it, I think it'll be, I think it'll be just fine. Tampa two, that we got to pick in that. So I want to try it again. I'll leave Taylor Mays in that mid read there. Oh, it's a run, it's a run, it's a run. Taylor Mays, Taylor Mays is making plays from that mid read uh, against the run and against the pass, honestly. So I'll keep leaving that out there. We have Ronnie Lott as a user here. Oh, nice. 
Nice shit. Let's go. Fourth down here. This is the biggest play of the game so far. Biggest play of the game so far. Let's see if we can get a stop. We're going, we're staying with that cover two. The cover two has done well for us so far. We'll see until, until we kind of get beat by it. I'll make some changes there. <gasps> oh, that was an awesome catch. That was an awesome catch. Nice hit from Taylor Mays, but awesome catch. So honestly, I mean, the mid range seems like it's playing well. I don't see a reason to change out of cover two yet. I didn't really, wasn't the biggest fan of cover two in the previous game, but in this one, it seems like it's doing well so far. We'll wait to see if we get beat. If we get beat deep, then maybe we'll change our minds on it. But for right now, I'm, I'm going to stick with the cover two and we can kind of just go from there. I mean, it's the very start of the game. Nice read, nice, ni nice read. So a lot of things are on the table. There's like things that might not have worked before might work now and vice versa. So I actually, I do want to try. I want to go back to the man to man here and just see because the man to man the couple times that we have ran it in this video i felt like it's done pretty well and that was without shading so i'm not going to do any shading either and we can kind of just go from there and decide if we need shading or not it's just it's, it's just i can't stress enough that early on in new games oh that looked like a nice little nice little quarterback run right there that was like lamar got out quick right there lamar got out quick but with a new game i just feel like a lot of different things worth trying. I mean, going into practice mode, even just seeing, okay, what works against man coverage? What works against zone coverage? It changes from year to year. And this is kind of feels like, it kind of feels like it's like a new Madden as far as how it's going to play just because it's the new, uh, new, uh, new game. So we're on the running back here and uh, we're just, we're going to watch the running back. And, but we're also watching how this man coverage plays. I'm not shading. So I'm curious how it plays. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. You saw both of those crossing patterns going across the middle of the field. Neither of them looked open. Now, the drag did get open a little bit, but if I was there to use her, it might have been okay. Back to the run here. Back to the run. The run looks solid. The run looks solid so far. Now, of course, I haven't really, like, found any great run defense yet as far as, you know, uh, getting in the backfield, shooting the gap, whatever the case may be. So, but it looks like you have decent control over your, your solid control over your running back, the whole scene there. So that's definitely something worth noting. Actually going back to this cover two here, we're going to see if we can try to figure out if we can shoot the gap on any runs. If they pass the ball, I want to, I want to continue to see how this cover two does against the pass. So watching here. Ooh, we got a little pressure. We got a little pressure. Okay. Fourth and five, fourth and five, another big play here. We're going to, we're going to do the same thing. I'm liking that cover two. I really am. The cover two looks like it's playing really, really well for us. I haven't seen them really try to go down the middle of the field against our deep halves yet, but as the game goes on, we'll kind of try to notice those things. I'm watching here. I'm watching here anything short left, uh, like left middle, like drags, slants coming from the right side quickly across, any hitches maybe on the left side. I'm watching both of those. Ooh, nice, nice knockout DRC. I wasn't sure. And that is actually going to do it. Another great game to our opponent. On to game three. Here we go with game three. This is actually gonna be the final game of the video. And we're gonna be starting off on defense. Here we go. We're starting off this one in cover two again. We like that mid read in the last game. Oh, that beat cover two pretty quick. You know what? We might have to change up from the cover two here. Well, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. I'll actually try to use it here. I'll shade up. I'll shade up. And you know what? Maybe I should have put a soft squat. Oh, that's a nice play against. Okay, that's beating cover two very, very fast. We are going to change to cover three because that is that is not doing a great job. That's that's beating cover uh, cover two very, very quickly. Let's see if it beats cover three. Oh, that does beat cover three. Oh no, it ended up matching. It ended up matching. Tracy Porter. Now I'm not sure if that was because they got bumped and it didn't beat the cover three, or if that's usually a cover three beater. I'm not sure. I am not sure, but Tracy Porter made a great play. Let's go. Just going to start this game off with a run. We did our subs. We did our audibles, everything like that. Now, I'm actually going to get on the ball here. We haven't seen what PA counter goal with the crossers look like. I actually need to flip. I'm going to flip here. But we haven't seen what PA counter goal looks like with this crosser. I'm, cu I'm curious to see how crossers are in this game. If, they, if they're still effective like they were in, uh, in the years past, or maybe if they're, if they're not quite as good. We'll see. This was like zone coverage, so we'll get to see what it looks like against zone. We'll kind of go from there now actually it wasn't letting me hike there so that might that might have changed the spot it might have changed oh no oh no oh no the user the user rush looks pretty good that user rush there looked very very good then we have a slant that was a nice little low ball there that was an under pressure throw but nice little low ball from josh allen and we're i want to go back to trying the crosser again i want to try the crosser because we didn't really get a great look at it right the, the user rush got there before we could even really see what was going to be open or not so now let's see if we can actually hike the ball quicker here because it wasn't it did not let me hike quicker okay let me hike it quickly there so i must have just been messing up oh oh i'm not sure if that was edge threat that crosser did look open though that crosser did look open i'm not sure if that was edge threat. i'm gonna block the running back here because i really do want to get a look at this crosser so we're gonna block the running back and i'm glad i'm glad that we can actually hike sooner and it just must have been something that i messed up timing wise there but we'll block the running back here just in case the edge threat comes in and i like to get a look at this crosser 
Looks like it's gonna be there. It looks like it's gonna be there. It was an under pressure though. It was there. So that's noted. It was an under pressure though, but it looked open. It actually was an edge thread. It was just double or nothing. So we're gonna double team the double or nothing here to try to prevent any quick sheds. We're looking for the slant in the post. We have the hitch. We have the hitch. All right, this is about close to half back there. We're gonna go for this here. We're gonna go for this. It's a fourth and eight. Fourth and eight. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see if our plays are working the way that they did in the past. We're gonna go back to that same one with that slant and that post. The slant and the post are the reads. The slant looked pretty good on that first pass where we threw it. So I do like this setup still. I know I said early on in the game that maybe the setups aren't working the same and they're not. They're not working the same, but that doesn't mean that the same setup won't work. It just might work in a different way. So definitely worth another try here. I do wanna get that double team in on this uh, right side, double or nothing, just because that's been kind of giving us trouble more so than anything else. And we have the slant. Then we have the slant. Now I would like to know, I would really love to know if that was a hard flat on the left side or if it was a cloud flat, because if it got over cloud flats, that would be really nice. I'm not sure if they shaded down or not there just because it was a fourth and uh, it was a fourth and eight. So a table route probably had a chance at getting a first down if we threw it. But if that gets over cloud flats, that could be really, really, really nice. And that could be something that could be uh, definitely add to the setup here. So definitely something worth it. I'm going to go right back to it. I'm going to go right back to it just to see they might if they didn't if they uh, Shade it down before. They might not shade down now. And we can kind of get a look at it here. Ooh, the table route looked there. The table route looked there. We're actually going to try this tight end corner route here just to see it, how it does against the, the, the cover two cloud flats. It actually... Ooh! Oh, no! I, I don't know if I grabbed the player and... Oh, they didn't even go out of bounds. I don't know if I grabbed the player and... It messed up the throw at all. But they're going to go! They're going to go! All right, well, not the end of the drive that we wanted but that corner route did carry that cloud flat back it looked a lot so that drag could have been there that's something we're going to note as well we're looking for this post route if it's cover two the post route could be open deep here they use a rush they use a rush we were able to get the ball away that looked like cover two though so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to block the running back this time we're going to block the running back to try to get some time in the pocket and if we can block that user blitz i really think this po uh, this post route could be a touchdown so we're blocking the running back We'll double team the right side and we'll ID this area where they use a rush from. So if they do try to use a rush, hopefully the running back can pick it up. If they went back, I think we have the post. I think we have the post. I think we had the post. I think we had it. I want to try it again. I want to try it again. But you know what? It might not be the best play on a third and 10. We want to just try to pick this up here. So we'll try to, we'll try to, I think it's covered. I'm pretty sure it's been covered two every play. So we'll try to pick that up with this corner route to Mostert. We can do that. Nope, just take the smoke screen. We'll just take the smoke screen. Go Tyreek, go Tyreek, go Tyreek. Can we reach for, oh, Tyreek was gonna reach for it, but the second tackle prevented it. We, we're gonna go for it. fourth and one. This is a big play here because we don't get it. They're in field goal range already. We're just gonna, you know, we'll just do a little corner flat concept, a little corner flat concept on the left, and then we'll just go, it's zone. So we'll just we'll go like a little spacing concept on the right. We'll just do a little spacing concept. I think we have the table. Nice job, Reggie Bush. Oh, I didn't mean to hike it. I didn't mean to hike it, but we're looking for our post. We're looking for our post to Tyreek. Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill, let's go. I wasn't even trying to hike the ball, but that was the route that we were looking for against that cover two, that deep post, let's go. Now, after seeing that deep post against the cover two, I'm going to change my mind and say that cover two, I still am not the biggest fan of it. It has played well for us so far, but our opponent this game has done something well against it. And then that post did really well against it as well. So I'm going to say going back to cover three is probably the best thing, at least for right now. This could be a run play. Could be a run play. Good tackle. They're back in this empty here. So we'll go to the cover three, which worked for us before. Oh, D, I made a play, but that actually looks there against the cover three. It looks like it's there. That's like it's beating a match, them beating the match concept of the cover three. If they had time to wait there, that might have been a touchdown. That might have been a touchdown. So definitely something that we want to look out for as the game goes on maybe if we can just if we play sticks it'll stop the matching concept if we also can go into our coach adjustments and change them from default like on the like the the depth of our zones that can also uh reverse the the matching concept from it so that's definitely a couple things we can do to try to stop that matching concept if they go back to that five wide i will do that just in order to see how it reacts to that route differently so Nice play from Dion. regardless. We'll definitely take that. I'd like to see this table route again here. Hopefully they give it to us. There's no hard flat on the right side. Yeah, that table route looks really fast. I'll be honest. That table route looks really, really fast. Just getting out there, kind of getting to the edge before the zones even really react to it. So that's definitely something I like early on in this game. Now we're going to try something else here. We're going to try this out of cover two just to see if this, if this corner route can get open. If this corner route can get open against cover two, that would be really cool. If not, 
we'll just try something else but again just trying different things throughout the game the game just came out so we'll we'll try to see what we think is best and kind of go from there so um, i'm actually gonna leave that speed out from the tight end too just to see what, how that looks Ooh, ooh, the speed out we got hit but it was still able to get there now again i think that was a hard flat just because they they used the corner out on the on the opposite side and the smoke screen was taken away by the hard flat so i'm gonna guess that that was over a hard flat not a cloud but definitely like that throw from josh allen even while getting hit there looking for our slant We're looking for our slant oh the slant the slant looked like it was gonna be there that looked like hard flats again but the slant looked like it was there so i like that setup we'll kind of just go away from that setup for now that's up that i pretty much i'm gonna note that i like that and we can just try different things i don't want to try the same exact thing throughout the video just as soon as i see that i like it we'll try to something else just trying to find as many route combos that we can feel comfortable using throughout the game here so we're going back to counter goal. i would like to get another look at this crosser uh oh uh oh uh oh oh the crosser was gonna be there again i really like that crosser at least against the cover two that they're in uh but again you're gonna need time you're gonna need time to throw that because with they're getting the pressure with their with their user rush and then the block sheds have seen pretty well uh pretty decent as well so definitely something to look out for we're looking for our streak no, the mid rematch to it. The mid rematch to it. We'll take Tyreek Hill here. We'll end up just taking our field goal. Try to get this one possession lead going into halftime. We're going to need one stop. So they went to this five wide again. We're actually going to change our zone drops to 20 here just to prevent our matching. And then we can kind of see what it looks like against this cover three, right? So we're changing our, our zone drops. That usually cancels the matching on the outside. So we'll see if they do that play. And it didn't match. It didn't match. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, my user wasn't there, but that's what we wanted, right? That's what we wanted was to prevent... The match on the outside so that we didn't have a chance of getting beat deep now, i'm going to shade down here i'm going to shade down so that i don't i don't feel like i need the user that flat on the left side we're watching with lot we're watching with lot ronnie lot oh that was a big time catch that was a big time catch now we're not we're likely not gonna get our stop that we wanted to before half here unless we can catch them on bounds in this last play actually they're just gonna take their field goal so that's the smart decision they were out of timeouts they're gonna take their three here we'll go into halftime with a tie game oh we're not gonna go with the tie game okay I don't know what happened they missed that is great we'll have the one possession lead that we wanted let's go so we're gonna get the ball to start the half here we have that three point lead if we can get a seven if we can get a touchdown here we'll take a two uh full two possession lead and that's definitely what the goal is here but the, also the goal is just to try, try to find route combos that we like against different coverages so they've been in the cover two for a lot of the game here i'm going to try to find a route that can get that corner out on the left side open over the top here so we're going back to the x spot here see if we can get anything over top oh that looked there that looked there oh that looked there now i'm not sure if i swerved or anything to prevent a catch but that looked like that had potential that looked like it had potential now we weren't fully on the hash so i'm not gonna go to it here i'm actually just gonna try to get off this uh get to a full hash here and see if that can change anything because if we have like a couple more yards of space if we were on the right hash we're kind of in the middle here so taking this table out now we're gonna be on a hash now we're gonna be on a hash now keep i'm also on conservative by the way i wasn't on conservative for the first two games just because i didn't change my coaching adjustments on offense but we are on conservative now so that hit stick it should be just fine if it's just like before the hit sticks usually didn't affect us too much when we were on conservative now i'm looking for this corner out over the top again mostert mostert it's there this time mostert mostert let's go it worked that time i must have swerved or something to make them miss the catch before and again, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of cover two right now. I'm definitely back on the cover three. I know I said I like the cover two early on, but that's just how you find things. You're a fan of it till you're not, right? It was working well for us, but we've seen some ways that you can beat it now. I'm back on the cover three. I still want to see what man to man looks like, but I'm kind of off the cover two. Watching the middle of the field myself here. We're in this cover three. We are shaded down, but again, we still have those zone drops set. So it's going to prevent the match concepts from our cover three. So if they go to that wheel route from the receiver, it shouldn't match and we should do, be able to do just fine against it now i'm gonna be lurking this drag that comes across the field first oh it, they, they called a different play they called a different play oh that was a laser that was an absolute laser so at, they have steam mcnair so they don't even have gunslinger they might have set feet lead i'm gonna try to see if i can check it really quickly they do have set feet lead so that uh was a really nice quick release that was able to fit that pass in there Ooh, again now it was a little bit of an overthrow but that looked open so it looks like Sefi lead looks pretty good now i'm not sure about gunslinger i felt like gunslinger didn't make too much of a difference like it was before but the Sefi lead looks like they're passing the ball pretty quickly so maybe i'm wrong i mean because on that corner route to moster it did look like the the Sefi lead did do pretty well ronnie lot ronnie lot makes the play can we go ronnie now i will say i don't think you want to be holding sprinter unless you're running in a straight line so i, I am holding sprinter now 
but on the user there i felt like i was moving much faster without sprinter and then even when i was just turning there to try to get downfield i felt like not holding sprinter was the best way to go about it. and that's actually going to do it that is the end of the video i hope you all enjoyed it my feedback on the game so far it definitely feels new it feels different it feels fun We'll see how the game goes on, what things are going to be working better, what things might not work quite as well. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Only if you want to. Take it easy. Peace. Remember, if you're ages 8 to 15 and you're interested in playing in the NFL Flag Youth Club Championship for Man 21, you can check out the link in the description below. Ages below 13 will need parental consent. I hope you all check it out. I'll see you all in the next one.